the playlist Just my name your boys and girls ladies and gentlemen back again kwenye show la kibaba the playlist Mini King of Interviews the MVP half man half amazing lil Omi nipo na army girl You like girl Yes we told leo tunapiga ma story kibao na Hamisa Mobeto Ray here kwenye the playlist pia na bonyeza ngoma tano kali na zozikubali au sio Mhm Mobeto ni aje Kwa mambo vipi Kwa kizazi Salama kabisa Feels good to see you Same here Au sio Yeah Karibu sana So first of all kwanza tupige ma story kibao then utakuja kubonyeza ngoma tano na zikubali ya. Okay. Yeah, September 5 mwaka huu hapa uli share mm. good news naweza nikasema kwa fans zako mm. ambapo ulikuwa umefikisha followers mm. um, 4.5 million mm. mm-hmm. kwenye Instagram mm-hmm. na ukasema kwamba utachagua fan mmoja mm. wa kukutana naye na kufanya kumfanyia surprise. Okay. Comments zilikuja kibao kama 2035 hivi. Mm-hmm. Kwanza kwako followers 4.5 million inaongea mm. nini? Um, kwangu mimi ni biashara kwa sababu the more followers I get the more business I attract. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo Instagram imetufungulia imetufung, wengi milango mizuri I think social media platforms mtu yeah. kama akizitumia vizuri yeah. anaweza akafanikiwa ama akafika mbali kwenye biashara zake. Kwa sababu at the end of the day inategemea na kitu gani ambacho wewe unataka kukipresent katika dunia. Oh, yeah. Yes, na mimi natumia social media ya platform zangu kama ku kuongeza views kwenye nyimbo zangu YouTube biashara zangu na vitu vingine. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Baadaye tena tukuona ni fan gani ambayo ulimchagua ili ukutane naye kumfanyia surprise. Ilikuwa ni surprise nini? Actually, surprise ilifanyika na mm. nikutana naye. Lakini kwa sababu za kikazi ama za kiofisi naweza nikasema sio kuruhusiwa sasa hivi kusema. Mm-hmm. Lakini tuli shoot videos na vitu vingine sana sasa I don't want to get into details. Mm-hmm. Lakini the plan is mm-hmm. sasa hivi I think na followers 4.8. Mm-hmm. So I think the first episode kusubscribe so kutana na fan moja. Nikutana kama na watatu mm-hmm. and the goal is kuwa kutana na fans kama kumi mm-hmm. So the moment nikifika 5 million followers mm-hmm. that's when I will post the first episode the how the whole process ilivyokuepo nilivyokutana na mashabiki yes so 10 million kwa nini wakifika milioni 10 no no not 10 5 you say 10 no no i said 5 you said 10 no way eh i said 10 fans i said mashabiki 10 yes kizazi kabisa um wakati huo najua kama ulivyosema una attract biashara na vitu vya namna hiyo lakini pia bado unafanya muziki na bado pia una ratiba zingine nyingi sana muziki ndio kitu ambacho sasa hivi umekipa nafasi au mm. unaweza nikasema ni kama priority yako ambayo umeamua kuwekeza ngumu nyingi na muda mwingi kwa sababu wakati unaanza mm. watu wengi walihisi kama Mobeto anakuja kwenye muziki labda anaweza kafanya ngoma moja tu akapotea mm. lakini ikawa mm-hmm. kama otherwise ngoma imetoka mm. ukaendelea kufanya ngoma zingine umefanya collab mm. zingine na tena una ngoma nyingine mm. ndio kitu ambacho kinachukua nafasi sana kwako nao hapana mm. hapana mimi kila kitu changu kwenye kazi zangu huwa zinaenda kwa timetable na nilikuwa sijatoa mziki wa kongo mimi kama mimi na and i think takriban labda miezi sita hivi kwa sababu mm-hmm. the last song ambayo nimefanya mimi kama mimi ilikuwa ni my love mm-hmm. ambayo il, 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 ni muda kidogo kwa sababu was busy na vitu vingine na ndo nikaja nikafanya nyimbo na Christian Bella mm-hmm. na actually the song with Christian Bella tulikuwa tumerecord itangia mwaka jana mwezi wa 12 mm-hmm. kwa hiyo imetoka tu mwaka huu nadhani kwenye mwezi wa saba hivi kwenda nane i'm not so sure so now for this month sema mwezi huu hapa mpaka the end of the year ninatoa nyimbo natoa nyimbo natoa nyimbo like now I'm, I'm like a bit free na ratiba zangu zinaniruhusu kutoa nyimbo nyingi yes oh, yeah. Na okay. Au mm. mzungumzie hapa boss. Na mm. the day mmeacha mm. video ya boss mm. saa chache baadaye ilitoka mm. inama ya Diamond. Mm. Na mashabiki wengi sana wa Hamisa wakao na complain kwa mitandao ya kijamii kwamba imekuwaje ina maana mm. Diamond anaofia mpaka ameujua kutoa video the same day ambayo Christian mm. Bella na Hamisa wameachia the video. Kwa kwa uliichukuliaje? Ukiacha um. na hizo complaints za mashabiki ambao walikuwa nalalamika. Mimi nilichukulia kawaida tu kwa sababu kila mtu ana management yake na kila mtu anafanya shughuli zake. Vitu unavyofanya yeye kazi zake na za kwangu hazihusiani. So kama mimi kama actually ile nyimbo ilikuwa ya Christian Bella. So kama management ya Christian Bella imepanga nyimbo itoke siku hiyo na management yake ikatokea kwamba imepangwa siku hiyo. It's not a problem. Me I believe kwamba kuna sehemu tosha kwa kila mtu katika hii dunia kushine. Okay. So that's what I believe. I believe everybody yani every, kila mtu ana nafasi ya kushine. Yeah. Okay. Ni kweli kwamba mzazi mwenzio Diamond yuko kwenye harakati za kukurudisha kwenye mahusiano ili muweze kufunga ndoa kama ambavyo mitandao inaongea sasa hivi. Ndoa tena hapana. Mm. No 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no no no. Asa unasikia umdani ndoa. Mm-mm. Yes, kulikuwa kuna kuna pages uh, kadhaa kwenye Instagram zilikuwa zimeposti kuhusiana hiyo. Tena ilikuwa ni 
Nadhani ile ilikuwa ni DMs zile messages mm. mtu ka screenshot then mm. kaziweka pale kwenye post. No 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 no. Sijui actually ndo nasikia umdani. Oh. Asije unajua mimi I don't normally see so me sana vitu vya kwenye page za Umbea actually na marafiki zangu waga haruhusiwi kunitumia nini kitu cha Umbea. Even if you're my friend ukinitumia I block you. Kwa ah. sababu mimi I like my peace. <laughs> napenda amani yangu, napenda amani yangu ya moyo. Wewe upendi Umbea? No, sipendi Umbea. Mm. At all. Ya yeah, mimi ni kwanza niko busy sana. Mm. <laughs> kwa hiyo huaga hawanitumii. Kwa hiyo mara nyingi nikifika kwenye interviews unasikia vitu I'm like eh. <laughs> okay. Mm. Ah okay. Sawa. Mm. Um kwanza kitu gani kilitokea? Kati oh. yako wewe na Belnas mpaka akaku block. Ni kwamba yeye pia alikuletea taarifa za umbea ndio maana uka block au ni kitu gani kilitokea? No no I don't know. Even I'm I'm in block. Ah, wewe ndio umemblock sasa kwenye platform zako zote. Yes. <laughs> Ah uh, Bilnas eh nenga kuna issue fulani hivi alizingua ya kibinadamu tu ya kawaida afu mimi sipendaki kuongea sana kwa hiyo nasikumpa alijaribu ku explain mimi sikutaka kusikia kwa sababu mimi nikiwa mimi siweza kuongea sana kwa hiyo sipendaki kurumbana sipendaki any hivyo so i just blocked him yeah maisha akaendelea alafu kwanza moja niweze kitu mm. ina maana kama mimi nikitokea nime block mtu ndio mm. wanakuja kushtaki kwa <laughs> no aliulizwa aliulizwa ah, ndo akajibu mm. kwamba kwamba sijui ni kitu gani kilitokea Hamisa akani block kwenye platform zake zote nikawa siwezi kumpata like yeye mwenyewe pia alikuwa yeye yeah, 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 anajua alikuwa... sababu yeye yeah, anajua sababu vizuri kabisa ni kwa nini ni block lakini ni issue tu ya kawaida yani ya kishikaji nini so vizuri kuiongelea kwa sababu alizingua okay. yeah. so hujamfikiria ku ku unblock uh, ku unblock mm-hmm. licha ya kwamba alijieleza no Sawa, so, um, ilionekana pia wakati umeanza kufanya muziki na watu wamekupokea vizuri na ngoma zako. Mm. Moja kati ya watu ambao alisema pia again alikuja hapa mm. hapa kwenye the playlist Fobi, mm. alielezea kwamba wakati mnafanya studio ngoma mm. amesaidia sana kukuandikia ngoma, mm. kukuelekeza jinsi ya kupita na nini. Mm. Lakini surprisingly cha kushangaza ni kwamba wakati ana reach out na kucheki katika WhatsApp, <laughs> vitiki vya blue vina, vinaonekana kwamba messages imefika lakini mm. Hamisa huko busy sana to the extent kujibu messages na pita siku tatu mbili akijaribu kuomba support labda ya kazi zake, Chali na kila kitu na vitu vya namna hiyo hakupata ile love ambayo yeye alionyesha mwanzo kwa mujibu wa maelezo yake nini ambacho kilitokea kama ukampotezea hivi fobi na pia ngoma yako ukaenda kwa Barnaba iandikwe na Barnaba na sio mtu ambaye mwanzo ulifanya naye kazi actually okay so for fobi nime kuelezea kuhusu fobi i don't know but for fobi fobi kwanza madam hero ni nyimbo ambayo ilikaa ndani for almost one year kama yeah. mwaka mzima ilikaa ndani siku itoa mm-hmm. kwa sababu kwa wakati huo sikuwa tayari kuingia katika muziki mm-hmm. ni nyimbo ambayo nilikuwa inaniliwaza mimi hapa yani kwa sababu kuna kipindi nilikuwa napitia wakati mgumu katika maisha yangu na mimi ni mtu ambaye napenda sana muziki mm-hmm. so that song it connected to me na ni nyimbo ambayo ilikuwa inaniliwaza mimi na wakati na before sija sija sije toma madam hero phobia niliandikaga nyimbo inaitwa sawa kipindi kwa tosi na wazo la yani sikuwa tayari kuingia katika muziki so nilivyokuwa nataka kuiandikwa nyimbo kama madam hero nilimfuata phobi na nikamwambia kwamba i want a song ieleze hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi hivi unajua sengine unaweza uh, as an artist unaweza kuwa na vision ya kitu but you don't know how to put it down you understand like you don't know how to pen it down because maybe you're in so much pain mm-hmm. kwa hiyo Fobi akananiliwa kaiandika and nikaenda tu siku moja nika record and that was it nikakaa na ile nyimbo so i've always been supporting Fobi always from all his work labda kama kuna kuna nyimbo labda Fobi katoa basi ya post video maybe nyimbo moja so me i traveled i, I don't remember nchi gani ilikuwa hapo ama siku tayari kusema nilikuwa nchi gani so nilikuwa nimesafiri nilivyokuwa kule mimi normally if niki travel si chukuaje sim card za nchi ambayo naenda kwa sababu maximum bi huwa nasafiri kwa siku nne mpaka tano siwezi kuzidisha hivyo unless i have to labda kuna kazi na vitu vingine kwa sababu of my kids siwezi kukaa mbali sana na strong so phobi akani text na mimi huaga natumia only wifi at the hotel ama at the apartments kwa sababu that's the only time nakuwa na internet kwa sababu sina sim card so aliboni text nikamwambia ninatoka i was actually kwenye lobby eh, kwenye kwenye elevators kwenye lifts nashuka kwenye lobby nikamwambia i'm heading out but actually hakunitumia nyimbo alinitumia nyimbo tu imbe mimi na yeye mm-hmm. so nikamwambia kwamba i'm heading out na nitakuwa sina internet mm-hmm. but in the next maybe three days 
nitakuwa tayari nimesharudi bongo send me the song nitaisikiliza the moment i get back home tutafanya kitu hata kama nisipoipenda we can actually do something else akasema sawa so before sijarudi like sijamjibu leo nimemwambia like give me like three days before sijatua bongo sijarudi bongo akawa tayari ameshafanya interviews so siku muuliza mimi sio mtu ambaye napenda majibizano kumuuliza mtu so i never asked him sikuwahi kumuuliza so nilikuwa sije kumuuliza na na kwa sababu ni mwanaume unajua mwanaume unatakiwa uwe more mature than, than a woman i think kwa sababu yeye ni mababa yani natakiwa mwe mwe mababa kwenye kila kitu kwa hiyo hakuni hakuni sikumuuliza anything kwa kweli na sikumblock sikumunfollow nilimwacha kama alivyo kwa sababu niliangalia point zake nikaona huyu mbona kama simuelewi yani kwa hiyo so fobi nikarudi hivyo so before i did kwa sababu I, i think i did an interview kuna kipindi fulani so before i did that interview akawa akawa hajaniuliza chochote yani alishafanya interview nyingi kama tatu kwa hiyo nilipoenda siku ya kufanya interview nikaeleza what happened that's the day fobi ambaye alimtext mm. me i like fobi mimi i personally like him ndio maana hata nilivotaka my first class iandikwe na nani i chose him for a reason kwa sababu i believe he's a very talented young man ambaye who has like a great future ahead of him. Kwa hiyo nikaenda nikaeleza like the same thing I'm, I'm explaining right now. So that's the day akaninaniliwa kanitafuta. Oh yeah. Akaanza kuelezea his side of the story and stuff and stuff. Nikamwambia kama nilivyosema hapo you are a man. Behave like one. Imetokea issue una mtoto wa kike na mwanamke mmerumbana ama mmetofautiana maneno ama kwa sababu hakugombana na mimi. All I told him is to wait for me nisubirie nirudi nyumbani. He never waited. So that was it. Nikamwambia hivyo lakini it's all good kwenye kwenye upande wangu mimi sikagi na grudge na mtu yeyote. You don't hold grudges. I don't ma, maisha ni mafupi sana. Yes. So nikamwambia it's all good maisha in the next few days akantumia nyimbo yake nikampostia nilipompostia watu wakawa wanamsema. Wanamwambia unaona umemsema dada tu vibaya bado anakupostia nyimbo zako na hivi na hivi nikamtumia as screenshot. Mm. Nikamwambia you see what you have created for yourself because this is not me this is you. Mm. Akaniambia kwamba ah I'm sorry lakini mbona hata interviews yenyewe sikuongea sana vibaya or anything like that nikamwambia yabishaishi kizazi yeah so so uh, read about now ngoma gani ya kwanza unaibonyeza na kwa nini um now na nyimbo ile ya jo, jo boy is called baby mo baby mm. that one yeah that's the song kwa nini I like it. <laughs> kizazi kabisa. Utakupeleka mpaka July 30 kwenye Instagram mm-hmm. ulipost picha moja ya kizazi sana then ukaandika mm-hmm. maneno yafuatayo kwamba nenda kwa mwendo wako. Mm-hmm. Mafanikio sio mashindano. Mm-hmm. Kila mmoja atafanikiwa kwa muda wake. Mm-hmm. Ilitokea nini mpaka ikaja caption kubwa kama hii? Um no no, no haiko, hakuna kile ambacho kilikuwa kimetokea lakini I thought ni ungekuwa ujumbe mzuri kwa vijana kama sisi ambao tunapigana tunapigania maisha we are fighting every day for yeah. for a better life ni kwamba unajua sengine mtu anaweza kawa anafanya kazi ama anafanya issue zake ambazo zinaweza kumletea kipato then akaona mbona kama sifiki mbona kama mwezangu anafanikiwa mbona mtoto wa fulani anafanikiwa zaidi ya mtoto wangu au kwa nini yule sio mimi na hivyo vitu vingine kwa hiyo mwisho wa siku hiyo inaweza kumfanya mtu akati tamaa ama awaze kuchukia mtu mwingine kwa sababu labda anafanikiwa So nikasema kwamba niandike hivyo kwa sababu kwa mtu yote ambaye ana akili tosha kabisa ataona ataelewa maana nini kwa sababu move at your own pace at your own pace at your own time kwa hiyo kila tu kila mtu ameandaliwa cha kwake you understand kila mtu whatever happens wewe utakuwa wewe na kile kitu ambacho Mwenyezi Mungu amekupangia kwa juhudi zako pia kwa hiyo muamini Mwenyezi Mungu fanya kazi zako usikate tamaa na pia usijilinganishe na mwenzako kwa sababu uliumbwa wewe kwa sababu una uspesho wako wewe mwenyewe. Yeah. Wewe compete na mtu? No, na kuja no, caption no, no, kama hii no, no, kwamba no, no. mafanikio sio mashindano? Na no, no, no. kwanza mimi ni mtoto wa pekee, mimi mtoto wa kwanza na mwisho kwa mama yangu. Kwa hiyo sijawahi kujiringanisha, kujifananisha, kujishindanisha na binadamu yoyote. Yeah. yeah. Kizazi sana. Hapo hapo tena July 29 mm. um, ulipost uh, post moja nyingine ya kizazi sana ukaandika mm. I'm going to make you so proud not myself not myself oh mm. you you unaikumbuka <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah ni kama vile like wewe mwenyewe ndo utaenda nah. kujifanya 
kuwa bora yes. zaidi au jivunie zaidi. Yes. Kuna ndoto zipi ambazo labda caption kama hii pia inakuja kwamba mm. yes umeshafanya vitu vingi vikubwa mm. but unaona kuna vingi vingine utakuja kuvifanya mm. ambavyo utajivunia we mwenyewe. Unajua katika katika maisha unakuwa watu wanasema kwamba it's better it's better wewe mwenyewe uji, ujifurahishe ujiridhishe ujikamilishie ndoto zako mm-hmm. kuliko umfanyie mtu kuna watu wengi wanaishi wana, wana wanasoma vitu ambavyo wapendi kusoma kwa sababu wanataka kumfurahisha ama kumridhisha mzazi kwa hiyo katika maisha pia ni vizuri ukijiangalia wewe mwenyewe of course ni vizuri kumridhisha mzazi wako so unasoma mpaka hapo utakapofikia then unafanya labda ambapo unapaswa kufanya alafu unafanya sasa ndoto zako oh, yeah. yes kwa hiyo niliandika hivyo kwa sababu nilikuwa na nimeshajiwekea kwamba siku moja mimi kama mimi nitaji make proud yani nita, i'm going to make hamisa proud kwamba mimi of course kuna steps nimefika katika maisha lakini unajiona lakini, bado lakini lakini kuna vingi ambavyo bado naviombea you understand oh, yeah. bado navipigania that's why tunafanya kazi kila siku kwa sababu tuna malengo ambayo tunatakiwa tufikie unajiona nani mimi hmm. najua na misamo beto <laughs> <laughs> okay um, kuna mahusiano yako yalipita hapa katikati hmm? of course ilikuwa ni mahusiano fulani hivi ni drama nyingi sana <laughs> ni nijo kama siko sei ilikuwa na, na, na drama nyingi sana kwenye mitandao ya kijamii mm. na baadaye kukawa mm. kuna story kwamba yule jamaa katelekeza familia yake mm. mwingine akawa wengine wakaongea kwamba umemuibia tahia wengine wakaenda mbali zaidi wakasema mm. um Of course it's going in drama flani hivi ambazo zilikuwa yes the same na zile drama ambazo I think you're talking about Alex. Yes Alex yeah. yeah. Nadhani ni drama ambazo zilitokea mm. kama zile ambazo ziliwahi kutokea before kwa mm. Diamond though as kuwa za namna hiyo yes. Um, ni kwamba Hamisa ni mwepesi sana kwenye kupenda na kumwamini mtu na ndio maana then no, 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 dramas no, no, kama no, hizi. No, 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 no. Kwanza Hamisa ni mtu ambaye yuko katika katika taa. Naweza nikasema kwamba kila kitu kinamulika Hamisa. Kwa hiyo to the point tunaweza ukawa una mahusiano na mtu akawa labda amewahi kumdate ex wake ex wake akapani kitu kwa sababu amemdate mtu fulani ambaye yupo katika taa. Kwa hiyo katika binadamu kiu binadamu kiwa na mke kuna wivu kuna nini kwa nini ame move on kuna vitu vingine kwa nini mimi sio mimi tena ni mtu mwingine. So mimi I can't say siwezi kuongelea upande wao mm. kwa sababu siwajui vizuri mm. na yule mwanaume pia hayanihusu baneza ngaongea upande mimi mimi I, so, I met the guy kulikuwa kuna kazi tulifanya naye kazi na vitu vingine we dated whatever happens happens kama kila mtu of course anajua kitu happen lakini yule mwanaume akaje kuniambia kwamba asije na mama, baby mama wake wa zamani ex like an ex baby mama like mama mtoto wake ambao walishaachana ana mimba yake <laughs> i know <laughs> I know. Kwa hiyo of course even the girl was saying kwamba wameachana lakini huko mwaka, mwaka jana sijui they had a thing which led to the pregnancy. Me I don't know squepo mm. na pia hayanihusu kama nilivyosema hapo awali lakini nikaona kwamba sio mahusiano ambayo mimi nahitaji at the moment. Mm. Ya yeah, ku yule mkaka mimi hakunikosea chochote. Chochote naweza nikasema hivyo we still talk na mtu ambaye naongea na naye hizo zote jana nimeongea naye. Mm. We still talk but we are, we are done tuliamaliza tena mimi ndo niliamaliza kwa sababu unao ilikuwa ina effect kwenye biashara zangu kwenye familia yangu and then yani vitu vinakuwa vingi kwa kitu kidogo you understand you meet a guy and then you feel like this is this is nice kwa sababu tu vijana nini you going to enjoy unajua so kila mahusiano unafikiria mbele sana mahusiano mengine you have yani unajisikia raha at that moment kwa hiyo inavyokuwa kwamba it's not working out sina raha zinakuwa karaha you you drop it yeah okay sawa so, kuna clip moja hivi imeenea sana mm. kama siku mbili hivi zilizopita baada ya mm. kuachia ngoma yako mpya mm. ya Zari akiwa kwenye gari yake mm. anasikiliza ngoma yako na kucheza by the way watu wengi wanaamini kwamba wewe na Zari mm. sio watu ambao mm. mko kwenye kwenye I mean, kwenye hali nzuri mm. kwenye hali ya peace ni watu ambao labda kwa sababu ni mezana mtu mmoja na nini na kulikuwa kuna story nyingi wewe baada ya kuona ile video ilikwaje uliichukuliaje sijaiona Seriously? Seriously kabisa. Sijaiona and I don't think anaweza akafanya hivyo. Mm-hmm. I don't know mimi simjui personally. So sidhani kama pia anaweza kufanya hivyo but mimi mi as nimesema hapa za mwanzo like me I don't hold any grudges. Mimi ni mtu ambaye sijui na tatizo gani lakini mtu ambaye I move on too fast. Yaani too fast from yani naweza mtu akaisi baba mimi na tunaweza tukawa na ugomvi. 
lakini kama by next week mimi nakuwa nimesha sawa hata kama tuliwahi kuongea chochote kwa hiyo i move on too fast and then it's going to creep and then i don't have any grudges with anybody Oh yeah. yeah. You think you have a big heart unahisi una moyo mkubwa? Yes, nahisi na moyo mkubwa sana na ndo nahisi ndo maana nahisi ndo maana nafanikiwa. You understand? Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Kizazi I wish sana. to have that. <laughs> Walikuja sauti sol hapo bongo yeah. wakafanya show moja ya kizazi sana. Wao walikuwa ni host MC. Yeah, yeah. Um na ulishinda sana by the way. Mm. Wewe nao una focus kwenye mziki na wale mm. ni wasanii wakubwa. Mm. Kuna chochote labda mliweza kuongea kufanya? Mm. Tuliongea kuhusu collabo. Mm-hmm. Ya, yeah, siwezi nikasema vitu vingi. Yaani management na nikaba. <laughs> Watu mabaya nao kaza na nikaba lakini yeah it will be good. Bado nina nyimbo na msanii mmoja wa Kenya, siwezi kumsema sasa hivi. Mhm. Bado nina nyimbo naye na pia nina nyimbo na msanii wa Uganda. Yeah. Kuna vitu vingi vinakuja. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kizazi. Hamisa listen to this one. Okay. Then we're coming back. Okay. Last time ulikuja hapa kwenye the playlist na ukazungumza ukaribu wako wewe na Hamisa. The way mnakuwa mnasupportiana kwenye muziki. Mm. Amekuwa akiposti clips za za, za nyimbo zako anaimba. Wewe pia umekuwa unapost ku mm. wakati unaimba Madam Hero. Mm. So baada ya Hamisa kutoa my love kama siku kadhaa mbele ikatoka haleluya ambao uko na will power yeah. so ikaonekana kama signal zimezima hivi kati yako wewe na Hamisa Mobeto okay. na ndio maana Hamisa kaenda Instagram akamwa unfollow Nandi mm. Nandi akamwa unfollow Hamisa mm. na block you so kitu gani kilitokea mpaka ule ukaribu ambao ulikuepo Hamisa na Nandi sasa hivi hauonekani na watu wameamua kwa unfollowana kwenye Instagram mpaka kupikutia na block well i think it's not a right time for me kumongelea Hamisa um kuna vitu vingi sana va, vi, vina umuhimu zaidi kwa kuongelea hizo mambo za 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 za, za, za kwa nifaliana kwa nini nini hazina maana sana tumehusisha kwa sababu last time ulimzungumzia kwa uzuri kabisa mmekuwa mnasupportiana kwenye muziki mm-hmm. na ndio maana wa mashabiki wanahitaji pia kujua kitu gani kimeendelea ambapo sasa hivi ile support ambayo ilikuepo na Nandi na Hamisa haionekani ndio maana nasema um, ni naweza nikasema um sisi sibidi sema hivyo hivyo yani najaribu kutafuta neno zuri lisijeli katafsiriwa vibaya i think tusimuongelee hamisa um anafanya vizuri kwa upande wake anafanya vizuri kwa upande wangu ana watu wa kutosha na msupport na watu wa kutosha na msupport okay lakini block kama kawaida it's not a big deal it's not a big deal i like that it's not a big deal Hiyo eh. ni sauti ya Nandi alikuja mm. hapa na alizungumzia the situation kama ambavyo umeisikia. Mm-hmm. Mwanzo nimekuwa nasupportiana sana, love ya kutosha, mm. zikaja di promise za kufanya collab na vitu vinamna hiyo all mm. of the sudden vitu mm. vikazima na vimefika hadi hapa. What will really happen? Nini ambacho kimetokea? Well, kwanza mimi nilikuwa nilikuwa sijui kama si nimeunfollowiwa, si nimeblockiwa, si nini I found it. Actually kuna kitu nilikuwa naangalia nikakuta account haionekani. Lakini let me get back to what she said. Mimi naona ni vizuri zaidi tuki tusimuongele. Yeah, I think it's better tusimuongele kwa sababu I believe kama kuna vitu vizuri zaidi na more important vya kuviongelea zaidi yake. Yes, na kila mtu aendelee kufanya kazi zake. She's doing good, I'm doing better, so it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Labda hili la She's la good you're doing better. Yes, yeah, so, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm great. Yeah, oh. it's not a big deal. <laughs> Inaweza kuwa hii ya, ya Nandi, labda mm. ni ya kawaida na watu tayari wameisikia sana. Mm. Lakini support ya Hamisa na Ruby pia sasa hivi haionekani. Mm. Na hata ukienda Instagram, Hamisa kama unfollow Ruby. Ruby mm. kama unfollow Hamisa. Mm. Kitu gani kimetokea? Na ni watu ambao mlikuwa mna plan za kufanya collab na mlikuwa mm. mnasupportiana na kama nakumbuka vizuri mm. kuna ngoma ambayo Kusa alikuandikia. Mm. Mimi I personally like Ruby. Yaani hiyo ni mpaka kesho kutwa she's one of the people that i really like na naweza nikasema kwamba ruby hakuni support me mimi ndo nilimsupport yeye you understand mm. kwa sababu kipindi ambacho ruby ana ruby alikuwa kama kapotea hivi kwa katika watu ambao walikuwa wanamfanyia kweli campaign ya yeye akae vizuri ya kumsupport kiroho safi kishikaji ilikuwa ni nini ruby alikuwa anakuja anamtengenezea nguo mpaka m- wakati ana nyimbo anamtengenezea nguo na mpa pale mobeto styles hakukuwa na tazio lolote and mpaka sasa hivi ninapongea na kuambia mimi i don't have hold any grudges and i like ruby so much mm-hmm. so much yani so 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 much this is very genuine kwa hiyo mimi i supported her And then wakati wa kusa mimi nilikuwa nataka nyimbo. Nitoe nyimbo. So akan uh, tukaongea na Ruby akamwambia yangu wewe nikupe mume wangu mwenyewe ametaka mume wangu. Wewe nikupe mume wangu nini? Akuandikie nyimbo wewe. Kusa aliandikia nyimbo mbili. Mmoja inaitwa Lala. 
haijatoka hiyo na nyingine inaitwa sawa sawa ni tuaga tu audio bila video so i don't know what happened sijui kitu gani kilichotokea lakini tulikuwa watu ambao tunaongea sana like mara nyingi na msupport na vitu vingine so ikaja kutokea kwamba one day ameenda kwenye a particular radio station hapa Tanzania ameenda kwenye kituo cha radio kimoja hapo hapa Tanzania akafika kwenye interview akaongea vitu ambavyo mimi sikupendekezwa navyo unajua kuna vitu ambavyo unaweza unaweza una access na yule mtu sasa ami sasa hivi umekosea kitu ambao sasa hujapendeza mfano of course umependeza mfano siku inatokea hujapendeza haikuna haja mimi kuja hapa nikaongea kwamba ami hajapendeza you understand mimi ni mwanamke wewe ni mama mimi ni mama unaweza ukanitafuta ukaniambia kwamba labda kuna kitu nakosea kitu fulani labda kwenye kazi yako i think aongea mziki kwenye mziki wako unaweza kurekebisha hivi especially kama mimi naamini wewe ni mwanamuziki mzuri kwa hiyo kuna vitu ambavyo waliviongea havikunipendezesha mimi kwa kitu chochote kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe sidhani kama alivyosikiliza alijiona yuko sawa navyo so akaenda i think after that aka after that watu wakamwambia wakamwambia kwamba wewe unakosea kwa sababu Hamisa was actually one of the people ambao wanakusupport sana mm. wewe. Sinaweza kukusupport unajua mtu ana kuna mtu anakusupport na kuna mtu anakupigania ufanikiwe. Mm. Kwa hiyo mtu katika saa nyingine shetani anaweza kupitia yule mtu ambaye ukashangaa kwamba yule mtu ambaye anakujengea daraja upite ukaibomoa uka afu ukawa tena hakuna pa kupita. Of course juu yuko mbele yake Mwenyezi Mungu kampangia nini. Mm. Yeah, kwa hiyo sikumuuliza. Mimi I never ask mimi ume, we mimi believe wewe ni mtu mzima una akili zako umeamua kwenda kuniongelea kitu labda umeniongelea vibaya I don't ask you I don't unfollow you utajiblokisha mwenyewe tofauti na 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 bilnas <laughs> tofauti na bilnas kwa sababu bilnas sasa niliongea naye sikuulizi kama fobi nilikuwa sijamuuliza kama hata ya nani nimesikia hapa sikumuuliza kama ya nini pia ya, ya huyo Ruby alinipigia simu i think siku hiyo ambayo watu walikuwa wanamsema wanamshauri sasa kwa kufanya sawa kufanya nini akanipigia simu siku sikupokea kwa sababu sikuwa tayari kuongea naye na mpaka leo sije kuongea naye yeah. actually nime wait 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 nimekusa naye kwenye hiyo event ya sauti so mm-hmm. the room rumba festival mm-hmm. yeah nimekusa naye siku ile alinifata akanisalimia tukasalimiana and that was it No, yeah. Okay. Huenda kuna watu wakawa wanajiuliza kwamba huenda kuingia kuhamisa kwenye muziki ikawa ni sababu moja mm. wapo ya hizi bifu ambazo zimekuwa zinaendelea kwa sababu watu wanaweza kujiuliza ya kwanza ya nandi labda mm. kuna issue zao zilitokea. Mm. Hii ya pili tena ni Ruby ni watu ambao walikuwa wanasupportiana hii tena imetokea. Unadhani hiyo inaweza kaina sababu kubwa? Ngoja nirudi pale ambapo nimesema mwanzo. Ni kwamba katika hii dunia kuna nafasi tosha kwa kila mtu kungara. There is enough space for everybody to shine. Kwa hiyo sipen actually kuna watu wengi sana wana hii fikra kwamba labda watu wa, mtu anaweza kusema kwa nini wewe kwa nini sio mimi ama kwa nini yeye kila siku kwa nini sio mimi kila siku may believe kuna sehemu ya kila mtu kufanikiwa katika maisha kungara mm. si kusema kwamba ni chanzo kwa sababu mimi sijauliza sijauliza na sales si kuuliza lakini ni kwamba there is enough space for everybody to shine na kila mtu kuonekana na kila mtu mziki wake kufanya vizuri kwa sababu kama wanawake mkiamua kusapotiana kulikuwa kuna ile wanawake wanawake tunaweza um, kila mwanamke akiamua kumsapoti mwanamke mzee hakutokuwa kuna mabifu hakutokuwa kuna matatizo yote na ndio maana mimi waga niko kipao mbele sana kusupport watu and then unatoa nyimbo watu wanasema mbona una support na watu watu hawaku support kama una wa support wa yeah. lakini kiroho safi Oh yeah. yeah. Um September 13 mwaka huu hapa mm. ulikuwa umepost picha kama mguu umedondoka hivi like umeweka mguu nje kwenye rafu moja nyekundu ya kizazi sana. Mm. Then ukaandika people only throw shit mm. on what shines. Mm. Nilitokana na nini labda ndio situation kama hizi? No, like no, watu watakurushia. Yeah. It's not a rafu, it's a vanguard. Mm-hmm. It's a Toyota vanguard, it's my car. Mm-hmm. And 
niliandika tulikuwa tu ni ni quotes tu ambazo nilikuwa nazo kichweni kwangu mm-hmm. kwa hiyo yeah of course wanasema inatokana na situations kama hizi labda unavyokutana nazo yeah it, it can actually fit lakini sikuandika kwa hiyo purpose kwa sababu mm-hmm. mshesiko anasemaga mti wenye matunda ndio ambao unarushiwa mawe hawezi kumkuta mtu amekaa chini anarusha mawe kwenye mrubaini mm-hmm. pale anafanya nini there is no tunda <laughs> there is no tunda oh, yeah. <laughs> kwa hiyo yeah hii ya nandi inaweza kaina usichwa pia na issue ya diamond the time ambapo walikutana dubai i don't think Ika so zika, i don't think. sana zile clip za nandi amepa i don't think so kwa sababu wakati wakati huo mimi na, na, na with her we were just cool yani oh, okay. alafu mimi i can never fight me i never fight because of of a guy mm. mimi sigombani yagi mwanaume yani ndio maana tunakuta situation labda you are dating a person anatokea mtu mwingine anakujibisha naweza nikakaa kimya because i feel like it's a wasted of time kwa sababu mimi naamini kama Mwenyezi Mungu mume alonipangia atakuja atakuja tu and then there won't be any chaos in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> energy yako unaipeleka wapi zaidi? Energy. Kwenye watoto wangu. Mimi na na watoto. Kwa hiyo I focus more my, on, on, on my kids na focus kwenye biashara zangu kwa sababu mwisho siku this is issues of social media dramas and na nini from 10 years from now hazito mata kwa kitu chochote. Like yes. So yeah kama tungeweza kumaliza interview tungeishia hapa so, so powerful i like that so ngoma ya pili ni ngoma gani na kwa nini um ngoma ya pili ni nyimbo ya Davido and Chris Brown inaitwa blow my mind yeah oh, it's yeah. a very nice song i like it it's danceable and stuff yeah yeah katika okay tukirudi kumaliza hola hola so far nani ana ana blow your mind so far mm myself i'm only blowing myself up like my mind up <laughs> kwa hapo ulipofikia nani alishawahi ku blow your mind na nobody nobody is <laughs> true maybe i was blowing their minds <laughs> <laughs> do you have any clue labda idea nani uli blow their mind ah uh, probably because why would unajua mpaka mtu akimdate mtu obviously kuna yani moyo umetetemeshwa kidogo the playlist